más nada más y nada menos que con el protagonista. Yes, it's John Krasinski. Welcome. Such an honor so to be here. So good to be here. Thank you. Now, I want to whisper when I'm yeah, here with you. Yeah, Should we just whisper the yes. whole time? Are we going to hear everything? To be fair, we'd already be dead. Even whispering. Right? Yeah, you'd be oh, dead. Man. Uh, I First, I have to say congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, the reviews are amazing. I, uh, you, the... you were genuinely catching me in a time where I don't You didn't know it. that, I right? Don't, no, I don't, don't understand. Believe it I can't believe it. No. Some of the some people are calling this the best horror film in a long time. Well, I How do will you feel when that. you hear this? I just go to sleep. I'm so <laughs> blown away by that that I just lay down. Now, what made you want to direct a horror movie? It's a great question, because I actually, before this movie, I didn't see a lot of horror movies. I was too scared. Um, but this movie really reminded me of sort of the more classic movies like Jaws or Alien or something like that. And I think that for me, um, the most important thing that I bonded to was this idea of family, that this idea that these parents would do absolutely anything for their kids. And just before I read the script, we had had our second daughter. Emily had had our second daughter. I was just there to watch. And um, so because we were still in that fresh new parenthood life of terror and worried that they we could keep this little girl safe and this little girl alive and whether or not I was a, good enough to be a dad all those things I put into the script because it was it's really what this movie kind of is about it's a giant metaphor for parenthood and they say never work with kids I know they how do was say it that. directing these child actors that play your children well, in the movie it's true and I, whoever told you must have told me don't work with kids <laughs> because they slow you down and you know, they have weird hours and, and all that. I, I gotta say, I got so lucky because I probably slowed these kids down. They're the most professional actors I've ever worked with. They're so incredibly, not only unbelievable at what they do, but they're great kids, which is, you know, hard to find, especially yeah. in this business. And they're just such dedicated, sweet kids who just cared so much about this movie, and I love them. I love them too. I know. I want to adopt them. <laughs> now, you got to go home with the leading lady. Yes. Did you learn anything new? from directing and starring with your wife, Emily Blunt? I mean, I could make a joke, but the truth is I learned so much from yeah. her. I mean, when you watch her, I remember the week before we started shooting, I went and looked for an editing bay and where we were gonna edit, and it happened that Rob Marshall was there editing Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. It's just a small movie that my wife will be in. And um, he said, oh, when are, you, when are you shooting? And I said, next week. And he said, oh, it's great, you'll see. And I said, I know, she's so great. And he said, no, you'll see. And I said, I know, I'm her biggest fan. He said, no, not until you're in the room with her when she does what she does will you see how talented she really is. And it's true, the, this scene that's in the poster, she only did one take of it. And when she did, the uh, air in the room changed. I mean, I just couldn't catch my breath. I was so blown away. Oh, that is so cute. It's Last true. question. Yes. This was the perfect like situation to play a prank on your wife. I know. Did you take advantage of that? No way. No way. No, she would have killed me. What? Because it was all scary all the time. <laughs> so if I was like, boo, she would have just taken my head off. It would have been awful. John, thank you so much. Thank you very much. much. I appreciate Don't it. Don't miss this amazing movie, A Quiet Place. Thank you. <laughs>